So if you haven't used one of these Gorilla carts before, I'm just gonna give you like the lowdown, like some basics about, about these things. I've actually got two of them. So I'll show you this one first, then I'll show you my other one. And you can see that I've got like a ton of different carts I use for stuff. A wheelbarrow with one wheel, a two wheeled wheelbarrow, and these carts. The difference between a Gorilla cart and a wheelbarrow, either two wheeled or one, is that with these guys, there's a balance point. And that kind of, you know, leads to a different ability and like maneuverability. Gorilla carts are less maneuverable than a wheelbarrow. But uh, these guys, this is the newer carts, do allow you, I think they're called like a 360, they do allow you to basically spin in place. Now, the reason I have two Gorilla carts is I freaking love these things. I just think they're awesome. But I gotta say, even though it's rated, this guy is rated to a thousand pounds, and they have a 1200 pound version. It's not as beefy as I would have wished. It's got a 1200 pound rating or a thousand pound rating. But the deal is, is that I could hit this with a hammer and just break this stuff. So, you know, it's like 1200 pounds if you evenly spaced it out. But if you put even 600 pounds in one spot, you're gonna bend this metal. So they're good. I mean, they're burly, you can abuse them. But at the same time, you know, I wish the metal was a little bit more hardcore. Uh, this is one of the guys that goes flatbed mode, right? So you can pop these, these dudes down and actually just pull off all the sides. Let me show you my other Gorilla cart just for comparison. All right, now this one I keep on my truck all the time. And I don't think they make this model anymore, but it's kind of a bummer because this one is more hardcore. It is uh, this kind of like extruded plastic or whatever. And you can drop like 100 pound logs in one spot and not break this thing. So this is a really burly cart. It does not have the 360 travel though. So in the front, you kind of have to, you know, it's like driving a car. You got to drive it and back it up, drive it and back it up. Again, Gorilla Carts, not as maneuverable as a wheelbarrow, but dang, can you haul a lot of stuff. You can fill this thing with concrete bags, 600 pounds, 800 pounds, 10 80 pound bags in here. And on flat ground, even a little bit of an incline, you can still move it around. So really, really good. The last thing I'll say about the Gorilla carts is that they also have a couple that are dump carts. And I don't have one of those here, but I've used them on job sites and they are really handy if you're moving mulch and stuff like that. If you don't have an actual dump trailer, if you're moving mulch around or topsoil or whatever, get one with the dump bed. It's just great. You know, you tell yourself you can unload your cart with a shovel and that's awesome and everything, but it's, it's, it's not fun. It's way better to be able to dump it. And this cart right here, it's got 380, it's got about 200 pounds worth of stuff in it. And it's pretty easy to move with just one hand. So, I mean, the advantage you have, like the, the mechanical advantage of just a wheeled cart is pretty awesome. 